What's up, everyone? What's up, everyone? What's up, everyone? I'm Merck, and this is Trading Shots, a show where our panelists debate all things CWL. As for that core, I disagree with you. I think uh, you have to look at Lightning Pandas. They were a team in Vegas that had great success. Not necessarily just that they didn't make the league, but the fashion they didn't make the league. Oh, and six, they didn't win a series. I understand you two as former players can come out and give the story, oh, well, you know, you have a bad day sometimes and that happens. Cool. Well, what, you're gonna have bad four days? Four days, four. <laughs> no, that's unacceptable. Stop. Oh, and six, oh, and six, Clint. There's players there who last year actually had great performances. And at the start of this year, Vegas top six. How do you go from top six to oh, and six? <laughs> After having dropped a COD legend, <laughs> you're gonna be in a spot where people are looking at you like, you dropped JCap for this? You dropped JCap for this? You dropped Clay for this? You know what happens when you drop JCap, right? You know what happens. Why, why you gotta hit me in a soft spot right there? <laughs> and you know what happens. <laughs> he's gonna figure it out. A couple months goes by, he's gonna win champs or something like that. So you gotta be careful what, with what you do. It has to work out. He's gonna win champs. Before anyone has even picked up a controller, what player has the most to prove in Division B? I think without question, unequivocally, it is, it's Kenny. I, I think Hunter Thieves have the most pressure as an organization coming in just as a squad based on their performances. And the guy under the most pressure is Kenny. Like, I, I think Pac-Man talked a little bit about pressure on Priesta. I don't know if Priesta's really feeling all that much. It is on Kenny. The change was made to keep Kenny on the team, to get him Maddox in his hand and make sure he's comfortable. The superstar, the MVP, the best player of last year has looked average in this game. Dumbass. I think without question, Gov no, Gov's great. I love Gus has been playing amazing, but Kenny hasn't been the guy that he is expected to be. That hard carry, the guy going off, dominating the map at a fast pace. I think all eyes for me are on, on Kenny without question. He has to perform. And just think about the tweets after the change was made. Basically, all the flack, all the pressure was at the organization and at Kenny. Like, what was it? The Clay tweet that said basically a change happened because Kenny wasn't comfortable running a sub. Like, all eyes are on Kenny. He's got to perform. I don't know if he's going to. Speaking of UIU, the team recently moved Spoof to the sub role after, well, they picked up Methods, and he's going to start for them. Now, do you guys think that is the right move for UIU? And this time we're going to start with you. What do you think of the move? Absolutely not. I don't think it's the right move for them whatsoever. I think that that is actually incredibly disrespectful to remove Spoofs from that team. He's been grinding years on end. You know, he's been teaming with these guys for a while. He gives some of these guys an opportunity. They qualify. And before he even gets to play a match in the pro league, he gets put as a substitute for a player that didn't even qualify. That is one of the most disrespectful things I've seen done to a player. And now what UIU has done is they've put all the pressure of the community onto their team. All eyes are going to be on them, and everybody's going to want to see them fail now. Spoofs is a great guy, friends with a ton of people in the community, and one of the spokesmen of the amateur scene, and you want to see this guy play, at least get one match, one map under his belt. And he didn't even play bad. He was sitting at a .97. There were two players on his team who had a worse KD than him, which is ridiculous for him to get okay. released. Not only that, he's running the crash character, which means you're not going to get that... You're not going to get that many, you know, damage points for your specialist. You're not going to have a killing specialist. You don't have a cluster. You don't have a grapple. This guy's being a team player and he gets released. It's unacceptable to me. What team is going to walk away as the Pro League winner for 2019? So the clear favorite to win is Optic Gaming, right? Yep. That's, that's clear. There's no argument, about, no argument against it. They're the best team in the game right now. But that's what it is. They're the best team in the game right now. I'm going to give you guys, go back with some history for you. Best team in the game in World War II. If you enter in the middle, rise. They did not win at the end. IW, mm. oh, no. everyone was winning that game. Black Ops 3, it was rise and optic. Envy wins at the end. AW, optic was the best team. Denial wins. I'm just saying that just because you're the best team at a point does not mean you're going to be that team when it matters at the end. So who's going to win then? I'm going with 100 Thieves. I'm what? thinking Thieves. I'm what? thinking Thieves. I'm thinking Thieves. You had your time to talk. It's my turn to talk. Yeah, they're not that good right now. They're not that good right now. So what does that mean? They have a whole they have a whole six months to focus on what is needed. And who always improves his team when it comes time? Slasher. Slasher's team in IW, Slasher's team was placing top 24. Top 24, worse than they are now. And they end up getting I second attempts. He leaves team. They, he leaves team. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no, he stuck, with, hold on, he stuck with the team. He stayed with the same exact roster in that game. And they went from top 24 to hold second on. at champs. I'm telling you that he, he has a way of improving his teams over time, he left last season, true. But the, before that, he had a way of, of improving his teams. Envy wasn't one of those teams in Black Ops 3. Who won champs? 
Slasher. With one of the best performances we've ever seen. Year. All right, so you're going with 100 Thieves, and I could tell. You got a lot to say. So let's give you your rebuttal, Ant. Go ahead. What do you think? How can you possibly say 100 Thieves after what we've seen? They were getting 50 point clubbed at Las Vegas. They were getting beat by teams of players that they've they've never even watched play. They didn't know anything about them. They were getting destroyed by them at the Pro League qualifier. They barely qualified top two. They should have had to go to the bracket. They're lucky that they're in the position that they are right now. They pick up a player who didn't even qualify on his own team, and you expect them to win the Pro League season when we have teams like Splice, when we have teams like Optic, we have teams like EU and LG, for God's sake, and you think they're going to be able to just consistently beat them over the course of a season and then win playoffs? I think 100 Thieves is more of a team that's going to maybe make a play for COD champs later in the year once they make maybe one more roster change. But right now, for the foreseeable future, there is no chance in hell I would say 100 Thieves has any chance at winning a championship, let alone the entire season. You did a lot of yelling. You did a lot of yelling. You yeah, did a lot of yelling. I, ah, 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 ah. You did a lot of yelling. What did you really say, though? All you said was, they're not playing well now. They, they have no chance. Okay, guess who won last season? Evil Geniuses, you were on that team. Okay. You are sitting here they with me. Changes. Nobody would have predicted EG to win. You were sitting up they there. Two now you're hold here. On, hold on. You no, are, no, 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 no. You proponent. were sitting up there. Oh, now let, you're let sitting here with me. Let him speak. Okay, go, go ahead. You back. were sitting up there playing. You didn't even qualify for the league. You lost to Epsilon to make playoffs. EG didn't even make the playoffs. And they won champs. Teams grow. Teams grow, and you're you're just taking that whole growth process out and looking right now. The question, oh yeah, who's gonna win right now? If champs was or if pro league finals was tomorrow, Optic would probably win, probably. But it's not. It's six months down the road. You don't know what's gonna happen. You have to let these teams grow. You can't just say, oh, oh my gosh, they didn't, they're not playing well. They got 50 point club. They got 50 point club a month ago, not seven months from now. Okay, listen. You don't think that they're gonna learn how to rotate in seven months? Wait, what player is under the most pressure after week one? I'm going to talk about somebody like Denz. Denz takes a gamble, right? He's the lone APAC player that is left. Denz goes to Team Reciprocity. He's now living in the States. His whole life has been upturned. If he doesn't make this work, and he's been, Reciprocity's one and three. I said they were one of my most disappointing teams. He's bottom two in KD on the team and hasn't been performing the way we know he does. If Denz were to get dropped, if a change were to happen with Reciprocity, do you think Denz is on another pro league team? I, I don't I don't know if he is. And that's why I think the pressure is a lot more on him. This is his livelihood at stake. If you are slacked and something goes wrong, you are on another pro team if you were dropped. 100,000%. I don't know if that's the case. But if there's one player who has to step up in week two to turn their performance around for their team, who does it have to be? So not focusing on the MVP, really focusing on the guys who, let's put it simple, stunk in week number one. Who needs to turn it around for them? Pac, we'll start with you. All right, so I came on here and I threw big love to Enigma Six. Kismet in particular, you let me down. You had a <laughs> 1.78 in the POQ. I understand it's the POQ. 1.78, that is tremendous. Throughout this week, you have a 0.79. That is a huge drop off. Your team needs you. Your team got used to you putting up numbers. You don't have to do a 1.78. That's, that's absurd. But give me a 1.1, a 1.05. You're not playing well at all. You're split pushing. You're not winning your individuals. Kismet, if the team's going to succeed, they need you. They need you. What are you doing? What is the smartest move for Red to make? Clint, we'll start with you. The smartest move for Red or the smartest move for the players? Because I'm more concerned about the players. I've heard from multiple people that they haven't been paid in months. So for me, who likes a lot of these players and think there's a lot of talent, I hope they get to go elsewhere or somewhere magical funding appears for these players to get paid because they're in a really <laughs> tough spot. Like, this has been a crazy scenario for them. Like, I was talking to Trey before Hot Mike and, you know, first everything about dropping bands, then Scraps wants to leave. Like, this has been really ugly and you've seen it in the dynamic from the players on stage after losses. But for me, I'm less sort of hoping they bring in a player to fix this and more that some of these players find a new home because when I heard they weren't being paid, like, that, that pisses so me off. So you're thinking just a complete disband. Yeah, I, I, I don't work. think that's going to happen, but you're asking what I would like to happen for these guys. Like, I hope they find a home where they're getting paid each month. That's what I hope. We'll see the rest of our Pro League teams meet up this week. At Fort Worth, we saw favorite to win Optic Gaming bow out early, while teams like Splice, Reciprocity, and Hunter Thieves had victory almost in their grasp. And while I want to know which team here not only has the most to prove after Fort Worth, but will actually rise to meet the challenge pack, you're in the lead, so you're up first. For me, I'm going to go with Optic Gaming, uh, and here's why. 
They got top 12 at Fort Worth, and that's an abysmal placing for them. So coming into this next week, they have to go 3-1 and one or 4-0 and oh, just, just to get that monkey off their back. Now, if they go into this week and go 2-2, two and two, and then they go into London and get 8th, 6th, maybe even 4th, that fan base is just going to pile on them. They got second place at Stage 1 playoffs last year, and their fan base was calling for a team change. That's how hard it is to be a member of Opti Gaming. The, the ceiling is so high, but the fans expect you to get there. Like they, That's what they need. That's what they want. And you have to deliver if you're Optic Gaming. I, I just feel like they will meet those expectations. They've made some, some changes to their specialists. They have Dashy. Like, they just have to do it, and I feel like they will coming forward, coming, going forward. All right, so he's going with Optic Gaming. Ben, who's that team for you that has to step on up and, and get that challenge it's under a, their belt? It's a good answer. I actually, I actually like that answer, and, uh, and to the point that Pac-Man made. You know, last time we were in a grand final together against each other, we, we GA'd not saying Optic Gaming because we thought they were going to win. So for them to play that badly was a bit of a surprise. For me, though, Kind of taking the opposite. It's a team that played very well that I think needs to keep that momentum up. I'm about to say reciprocity. You just finished third. That's a miraculous result. It really is. And I don't want to take anything away from the players. It was a well-deserved third place finish too. They played out of their minds. But now, you got to keep it going, all right? You don't want to be the team that, you know, oh, we finished third this year. Yeah, that was our highest performance. No, you got to keep the ball rolling. And you're in a great position to get that momentum through going into your home territory. you got to think about that. For me, you have a week of cross-divisional play, which is going to be great. Uh, the schedule is a little tough. But if they can come out, you know, 3-1, and one, I think 4-0 uh, and oh would be unbelievable. But then you take that into London in three weeks' time. Oh, my Lord, you're going to have all of the crowd with you. That's an event where you might actually win. Like, the, the crowd can be that big of a factor. I mean, I, I know I was sat, like, front row. I spoke to some of the players, the LG players. I remember I spoke to Octane. It was like, yeah, dude, the, the crowd was loud. Like, it was, it was tough playing against that. You have that on your side. I mean, both of you guys know. Uh, Pac, you know what it's like to play against up to gaming. It can yeah. be tough. Joe, oh. you've had the green wall on your side. You know what it's like to have that extra support. So, for me, a little bit different than, than Pac's view. I, I think it's keep that ball rolling of your reciprocity. You were losing map one consistently, and then you went on to win three in a row anyway. You were winning two of the remaining respawns in a best of five. Uh, you want to talk search and destroy, a 1.15 for Spacey, a 1.07 for Envoy. You've not improved in that either. So uh, to me, I, I don't see the, the benefit, Joe. And you talk about the intangibles as well. Nah, it's a bad, bad, bad decision. Bad decision. All right, it, so you're it, going, would you say D? A D, D out of you. Pac-Man, you're last up because you're in first place. What do you think out of this move from Genji? I'm just going to go the opposite way because I like to be the contrarian, right? I'm going to give him a B. I'm going to give him a B. Why? Because even though they played so well at the PO, or at the at their time in the league, do you think that this team had a chance to win the tournament? Do you think that they believe that they had a chance to win the tournament? And my answer is no. Now, we've never seen a team dominate and solely search and destroy and win a tournament. That was their best game mode. They did not uh, lose. The, the, it's my time that's to talk. It's my time to talk. They did not they did not lose a search. Great, fine. They did not pick up a bad search player. They picked up someone that's pretty good at search and someone who's much better at hard point. So if that team can learn to mesh in search the same way and maybe pick up more hard points against the top teams. Maybe they felt like that's why they did it. Maybe that gives them a better chance to win. I'm gonna give it a B. Yeah, they could have stuck. They were first place, right. but they did not pick up a bad player. They picked up another player that was on a top team that could bring something else, some new things to their team. I'm, uh, I'm matching Ant's time. <laughs> <laughs> did you give him a point for that search and destroy point? I did. Can, can, you gave him a point for that. Yeah. Wait, wait, before, you played COD for 10 years. Teams haven't won events by just being good at search and like okay at other game modes? No. That's a lie. I won, an event. I won packs by winning all search and destroys and winning one hard point a series. I mean, I, I understand that, but you have to be, you have to be decent. I, I just think we always talk about the teams who, who are 2, 3, and 5, and we focus on that. The problem is against the best teams in the world, you can't always guarantee those search and destroys, and that is where you struggle against those teams in the hard point. I think for Gen G, the fact is, is they made a change because, yes, they were 6-1 and one throughout a regular season. They had a chance to go out after a, a young player who was on a very successful team in midnight and they had the opportunity to improve the team. The but problem with that is, sorry to cut you off, because I have to say it, is when you're a team that loses game one and then you win three in a row and you make that change, if you're not picking up an absolute superstar that's going to be winning you response consistently, you risk losing that chemistry. Sure. To win three games in a row and to go six and one and losing that hard point like that, it's chemistry. When you, do, when you remove a guy, you risk losing that chemistry. You can mess the whole thing up. I think you guys are going to have some different answers. Maven, what do you think? Uh, I do think nice to have, but this, this is kind of my logic behind it. It's always been like this for Call of Duty. 28. Think about like regular sports. 26. Uh, like you have, uh, you have football, right? Like the NFL. Coaches are very, very involved in play calling. Like they are instrumental to their team's success. Like you cannot get by without having coaches in a game like football. All right, look talk at, about Cod. You look seconds. at something like soccer. You have a so manager, but like you talking about. Are Dude, can I, can I make my point? Can I make my point? All right. No, whatever. No, no, I'm done.
five, yeah. so they're not. Four, I, I had a fantastic three, point. Two, I had a fantastic point. Coaching football That's really important. important. I had a fantastic <laughs> point. I think you look at them in Vegas. Once, by once, the way. once, once right. they start, once they start, the game starts. The coaches have no influence. They have to rely on the players. Like soccer, once the game starts, there's not much they can do whatsoever. It's like the NFL, where you are in play-by-play -play doing stuff. Well, that's in not true. COD, that's not true. They can, they can absolutely. Make, make, soccer, the coaches, no, yeah, the substitutes. That's it. That's it, though. You know how hands off it is compared to something like basketball or football. I think if they caught, that it's super hands off. I just, so I, you probably you just super about? super hands off. Like if we're talking about you Call can of set Duty. them up right, once they start right, playing. Right, what? Pack. I, I, please give me. I'm I, I, being surrounded okay, by stupidity. No. It's so hard no. to be surrounded by go stupidity. Ahead, go ahead. If they were if they were allowed to talk during the matches, maybe. But since that's my point. I'm making. Up. You wouldn't let me get there. Since they're not, it's hard to make a point when someone's yelling at you. Since they're not, it's completely irrelevant. Nice to have at best. Thank you for making nice, my point. Nice to have at best. You talk about Joey Nubsy. He coached Pittsburgh Knights. They're not here. TP, coach Optic Gaming last season. What did they get at champs? Last. Who were the best teams last season? Rise. TK, no coach. You don't need it. Joe, how many times did you have a coach when you were winning? Zero. Zero. But nice he, didn't, to have. he didn't win that nice much, though. Joe is Thank a champion. Thank you for a great answer, Pat. Nice to have. That's right. I, I, I tried to get to that exact point. You guys cut me off. <laughs> well, I you think 30 just, seconds. It's my birthday. Hey, hey. hey it's it's really Pat. Who do you think? Who's going to be that new team that might cause uh, a lot of upsets in our pro league? Now, these players might not necessarily be new, but this team is new. They've been on the outside looking in, and I'm looking at team space. These guys have a lot of – they have a lot of time and history in Call of Duty, but they've been on the outside right on that edge looking in. Nagafin may be the only one with real uh, extended pro league experience. They're, they're the team with the best practice. Nah, That's why I think I, I don't best know. They the best, I, yes. I, I, I don't they get the that. best practice. They get to scrim the best teams all the I time. I don't love that answer, though. But like heretics, said, who's heretics are, scrimming? These they aren't new players. Like, all of them have like, been in the pro league at some point. Like When I think they're, new, I think heretics, UIU, Midnight, like Accelerate. That's who I'm thinking. But, but it, to his point, I mean, they're team not, space. They, I, who, who's been in the pro league? Who was in the league? Who's been in the they league? They weren't in the league. Or team space. What do you mean? They weren't in the league. They were. You just know their names. They were not in the league. A lot of them have been in the pro league. Absolutely. Maybe for a short period of time. Yeah, I mean, but I'm saying they have been there. They have been there. Space, uh, for they, a, they've a been in the pro league for a short yeah, period of time. I guess I'm focusing on the players that haven't been there before, like absolutely new names. But I don't know. I guess I, I think they're I, – I assume they're going to do well. I think they're easily going to do well. All right. That means you're telling me that I'm correct. I just don't, I just don't, <laughs> think, I, I don't think it's a fair answer. They've been in the pro league. They're not new. They, they are they, new. They're not new. They are new. Now you saw the passion that they brought. I'm a, I'm a they are new. That's not a new. That's not an answer. When was – You're cheating. For a player like Temp, we talk about the stock woman. How do you think he'll be able to adapt to that? Yeah, I guess I guess maybe he has to prove it to fans. But like, I guess I already hold him in high regard. Like Ooh. I know how good Temp is. I know we we know how oh, good you, Temp is. Yeah, what? Temp. Before before Vegas, you were you were one of the people that was down on Temp. I have never doubted Temp ever. He's one is of the, the raw, from a raw talent standpoint. He's a god. I, I think Temp's incredible. When did I doubt Temp? When? You just made that up. You're you're a liar. You're a liar, Jonathan Tucker. You're a liar. You definitely doubted him before this. You said, he's not very good. I remember what? We were having a conversation. You said, he's, he's not very good. What are you talking about? When I, I put him in a conversation with the best sub. That was the last question for Quickscope. And, well, you, you know what that means. Let's take another look at our scoreboard. Ben Pacman, you are tied at 11. Duo. <laughs> you are horrible. David, uh, you, you, you for get third, third place today. I played, you, league, you I played league play till 3 a.m. Yeah, it showed. <laughs> Yeah. Wait, does this mean I get to go play League Play earlier now? No, because I want to hear you got any last words just uh, for us here. No, I'm going to go play League Play now. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. <laughs> That's you're, it. That's you're, it. You're, you're a terrible contestant on this show. I'm go play play. Please <laughs> never come this back. This is the first time I've ever been knocked off at the beginning. I, 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 think, what I think, do, what do I do now? I think uh, trading shots would be better if it was just me and Pac. Where do I go? I, I, I'm going to be honest. Points. I, I think just from an overall performance, this is the worst it, thing. This right. was bad for you. <laughs> like, it really was. The fact, the fact you have that many points, you should be honestly buying, <laughs> buying Joe a beverage. It just wasn't a lot of good points. You you Where do I go now? <laughs> you, copied, you, copied his, you copied his points. Yeah. Well, that was the question. Well, you just. That was yeah, the was question. Little, you could have said it was bad. <laughs> has been more impressive for me because we like have a direct relationship sure. there. No, 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 sure, in. sure. Uh, now, uh, uh, let's do a little bit of an experiment, Clint. Okay. Name any other player in Division B that isn't on Team Envious. Any other player? Just name, name Slasher. Player. All right, so you put Slasher on, on that Envious team. Well, that's a better thing. <laughs> name, 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 name another sub. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Well, hold on, wait, no, well, name, name, name another player like... Okay, well, let's say any of them. Thank you, gentlemen. Uh, yeah, this is really just at the three of you on the desk. Um... You saw the clip last night. I said LG would go three and one, and all of them laughed at me. They mocked me. They think that I just make up things just to, to, to rile up the crowd. But when it boils down to it, I'm a Call of Duty savant. 
the, the knowledge within this giant egg-shaped head is incredible. Just years and years of stats and storylines just circulating in this head. There is no one on the planet that understands Call of Duty at the level I do. And uh, to be surrounded by these three and just continue dominating. This is the first win on the board, but there's going to be so many more. I mean, look at last year. Ben, ben won like three episodes throughout the entire year. Pac-Man's going to get a win here and there. Just Basically, it's charity from Joe, which is very, very sweet of Joe. But... I love doing the show. I love the fans out there. Thank you so much. I wish that I'd have uh, better people to argue with. I'm sorry that it's as easy as it is. Oh! Oh, I'm winning so far. You'll love to see it. First of all, Pac, good job. We have a mutual respect that as long as one of us win, we oh. don't really care. You guys teaming up now? The bald Eagle, Maven, eight points. That is disgraceful. Clint, next time you come on this show, you better do your research, do your homework, because those arguments were an embarrassment. Oh, I predicted LG to go three and one. It didn't even happen how you said it would, so don't even give me any of that nonsense. You need to be better, Clint. The people watch because they find you entertaining, but you gotta have some stats because that's a poor, poor performance. And in terms of everything else I wanna say, you know, good job today, Joe. I think you, you were excellent. Good job today, Pac, you were also excellent. Just Clint's got to be better, man. I, and I'm sick and tired of him being just so lazy, coming on this show, not preparing. It's just not good enough, Joe. It's just not good enough. We're putting in the time to prepare and get 18 points to the show. Clint has to be better, and I'm sick and tired of it. I was almost backwards. I think that I had it backwards. I've now gotten it on. <laughs> <laughs> Can I buy this point, sir? All right, here we go. Uh, ben. Here we go. <laughs> you jackass. <laughs> you got lucky last week. I I'm going to be honest. I said it on last week's episode. You know, Treyarch, they put league play in the game. It was very grind-based. I was up until like 6 a.m. I got very little rest, and I, I couldn't keep up with that quick wit of yours. But now I'm back. I came in prep with stats, notes, a level that you've never seen before. Get used to it, Ben. I don't even know. Pac-Man is. He left. Sorry. <laughs> Pac-Man. He, he, he stinks. Horrible. He absolutely stinks. Horrible. But uh, this has been fun. Uh, but I'm, I'm excited for forward. I can't wait to see the two teams go up against each other. I'm excited. I won't be on the next episode. So, Ben, maybe you'll get blessed with another victory. You, you lucky SOB. But... I just, I'm really excited to see Division A versus B. That's the thing we're all looking forward to. Who's going to be the better division? Is it A or B that come out and show up at Fort Worth? Uh, but this has been, uh, this has been fun. I love doing this show. I love my pals. I love you viewers. I love everybody. I'm going home to all see right. my girlfriend and my puppies today. I can't wait. I haven't seen my puppies all right, in a month. I have not been home for a month <laughs> with my girlfriend and my puppies. Not going to lie. This feels good. Feels good to be the champ again. It's been a while. It's been a while. <laughs> it's been a couple weeks. It's been a while. <laughs> Nameless, <laughs> this is going directly to you, okay. my friend, my duo, my guy. You sucked. <laughs> you legitimately sucked. We heard so much about the undefeated, the unbeaten. Every single time that graphic would come up, it would say 100% next to your name. I got to hear every day about how you're so good on this show. You are undefeated. You, no one can out-argue you. Where were you today? Despicable performance. You came underprepared. It showed. Me and Ben beat you into the dirt. You have to be better. Uh, matter of fact, we need Clint back because I want to beat him. Beating you simply wasn't fun. When does Clint come back? Nameless be better. You let me down, just like when you used to play the game. Oh, <laughs> oh my. That's all, I have, that's all I have to say. Had a wonderful wow. time. All right, well, that was, that was a smack talk and a half. I like that one. That one, that was fun. <sighs> Woo! <laughs> Name was last week. I told you you had to get better. <laughs> you still gotta get better, man. You are trash. No, I'm kidding. That was a good. That was a good, uh, fun debate. I want to talk to the fans at CWL Fort Worth. It's not gonna be a trash talking segment. You guys were amazing. I loved it. I didn't go to the last uh, Birmingham event, but apparently everyone tells me that th that event was even better. If you guys at London could outdo the crowd that we saw at CWL Fort Worth, I would be shocked. Those guys were amazing with, with or without Optic Gaming playing. That, that's a change. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Everyone that goes to the events, they know that when Optic's there, there's a different energy. Of course, it's, they deserve it. They deserve their fan base, their love. But when the other teams were playing, the, CW, the CWL Fort Worth crowd was out there for everyone and on a high level. We loved it. London, if you do better than that, I will be shocked. We, I can't wait for that. It's going to be so much fun. Nameless sucks. Oh, it feels so good. 
Oh, wow. Well, so good to be back yeah, right here. Uh, da, ba, ba, ba. Hey, uninterrupted. uninterrupted. 60 seconds uninterrupted. Uh, first of all, I will say, uh, Clint. Ba, 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 ba. Uninterrupted. Oh, they'll do a uh, back uh, uh, exactly where they belong. Pac-Man, I don't know how you lost to him this week, but you've got to step up. Uh, I want to bring Nameless back on so I can try and beat him as well. It feels good to get the first win on the, on, on the season as well. I believe you haven't actually won anything yet. <laughs> so uh, we'll see if you're able to do that next week. But in terms of who I really want to go at, this may surprise a lot of you. This may surprise. I could sit here and, and, and go at LG once again, but it's too easy. It's too easy at this point. You've got to play better. Everyone knows that. Revan, my old duo. <laughs> my old duo. What's going on, pal? You, you leave me for this? You left for this, Revan? For this? For this sort of a record with EG? It's not good enough, Revan. If you don't step up, our friendship could be toast. It could be over. This is embarrassing. You're giving all casters a bad name as a coach. you got to be better, Revan. you got to be better. You know, Pac went back to back. No back to back to back. No, I had to, <laughs> had to shut it down while I could. It was great to have Maven back on the show as always. Much better than Nameless in terms of the arguments and debates <laughs> he brings. So that's always fun. Uh, but in terms of what I want to talk about in, in my time, you may remember, uh, I think it was like the first week I won. I went in my former duo. I won at Revan. And I said, you're not, you're not doing enough. You're not doing well enough. Well, it was a joke. Now it's time to be serious. What is going on with Evil Geniuses it isn't good enough. I think Revan as a coach is fantastic, but you need to figure out more ways of utilizing the best out of your players. And secondly, reciprocity. To the point I just made, grind. Please, please, please give the fans in London something to get behind. We all know, we all know that Optic Gaming fans are going to be there. But Europe needs support as well. And reciprocity right now, coming from a Brit, you're our best bet. All right, for Ben, I got to ask you this. I think this is a tough question. <laughs> Hit me. If London is a reciprocity versus optic Up to game gaming final, final, who's louder, the optic fans or do, do you want me to reciprocity be honest? fans? Be, yeah. Being completely honest with you, I think it'll be the reciprocity fans. I think so too. I think so too. And here's why: I, I've had so many, so many people that I sat with at Birmingham messaging me, DMing me on Twitter, saying, "All right, I can't wait. I can't wait. Just give us a European team. Give us a European team." And I've asked them, "Well, what happens if optic plays?" And they said. We want a home team to win in our home country. There's a sense of national pride. Don't get me wrong. There's still going to be a lot of people rooting for Optic Gaming. There, there always is. But I think the best example of what I could give you is, do you remember AW Columbus Open? Yeah. FaZe versus Optic Gaming. Yeah. You remember how that crowd was there where you had the, let's go Optic in the FaZe fans. Phase Optic there. sucks. And then yeah. all the all the FaZe I think that would be the atmosphere. That That's what it would be like. Argument for London coming up. And... Yep. Yeah. Right, this is your camera. Ben, that's it. I, I, I'm the left, he's the right. Got it. Ben, pack. Ben, pack. Got it. Like, that's how much pressure it is to be on Optic Gaming. I, I just feel... Can we start that over? Because uh. he told me this one. Wait, I, I got you with that? Oh, you were with me? Oh, Ben was with him. And then I'm just watching them point. <laughs> <laughs> As if you fell for... <laughs> yeah, we can, we can redo it. Also, make sure um, just talk about this week. Oh, oh we're about this week. No, That's no, you amazing. can't even to London. Just, but just oh. feel like they have to go through. Throw that in the bloopers. Like, make sure, yeah. That's a blooper reel. Love that. Oh, I, I f you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Ben is, you're feeling strong about that one. That is, oh, that came back. That was back. actually, that was actually Whoa, that was <laughs> I don't think you could do that again no. if you tried. No. no. Now, <laughs> the winner will enter the Smack Talk. Now it's time to junk. Let's start quick scope. Well, I don't know why I just combine that. Oh, 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 oh. Wow, wow, wow. And I want to know. I want to know. What I want to know. I want to know. And I want to know. I want to know. I want to know. I gotta know, boys. I wanna know. Priestor! I wanna know. United Top been talking about it. Maybe you, Joe, but. Oh, this is gonna be good. It's, bro, I feel it. I love it. What's up, everyone? I'm Merck, and this is Trading Shots. Dry Merck. A show. Come on. So he's going. What's up? You're going splice? Water. Yeah. Water? Okay, Al. Look, look at that. I'm, I'm fourth. My lord, my well, you benching 285 yet? Remember this? Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, I well, what, what are you actually benching? Huh? What are you actually benching? Uh, just I hate arguing. Me too. Yeah. It's so annoying. It's awkward. It's like, yeah, Pac, I completely agree with your <laughs> points. <laughs> <laughs> like John Cena, bro, you can't see me. Bump. Do, 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 do. Let's go. <laughs> 
Let's go, let's have some fun! Hot takes last week, Maven won on his birthday, and now each Break. of our panelists. <laughs> let's go! You're going birthday. to the Smack Talk Winner Circle presented by Astro Gaming. Maybe well, well, maybe well. Players, just who can you actually get? But those are the only, the, I guess those are the two core pieces that I think stick. Outside of that, I don't really care. Just, like, it's like the Spider-Man meme. They're all, oh, yeah. they're all like, <laughs> they're like. Who, who are you putting a showdown between you and me? Who's got the fastest reactions out of you? Woo! <laughs> it's definitely not him. It's, I don't think it is. Yeah. All right, but on, you see that? What is that, like 0.2 seconds? Watch. Woo! Wow, you're quick. Yeah. All right, like, let's go. Trick. Where are you going? Today, I probably can't do a lot today. <sighs> you will use dumbbells. Four. Oh. <laughs> I love you guys. This is fun. <laughs> Nat is gonna do it for trading shots. Nat is gonna do it for the show. And thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time.